Hi everyone, uh, my name is Doris Raymond and I am the lucky owner of The Way We Wore. Absolutely, I am one of the luckiest girls on this planet because I get to see beautiful things over and over again. Today we're doing something a little bit different. Uh, we are in the showroom of Julian's auction. Uh, Julian's, as you may know from previous episodes, is the auction house in Los Angeles to sell things that have uh, provenance importance. And uh, this coming December, uh, we have uh, two pieces from the Obamas. Uh, and this is going to be the highlight piece. It's a, a, a dress that was worn by Michelle Obama, um, designed by Norell. Doris, welcome to Julian's Auctions. I'm so happy to be here. You are so welcome here, and I am a huge fan of yours, and I have enormous respect for you and the way we wore, and all you've created with vintage and everything, so I'm really looking forward to this chat and just talking about amazing items, but I want to learn more about you as well, because our worlds cross over in so many ways. I agree, I agree. I think um, it's great that we have mutual admiration and respect. And we're sort of in the same world. Similar, there's definitely confluence. Definitely. Um, I think that this piece is one that totally floats my boat. Have a seat. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, I think, you know, the thing that I find really interesting is oftentimes with celebrity worn clothing, uh, there's the value is in who wore it as opposed to what it is. In this case, Michelle Obama created quite a stir wearing, she's the first first lady to ever wear a vintage previously worn item. And, you know, bravo to her, you know. Absolutely. The trend setting is uh, <laughs> um, wonderful. And what I love about this is the fullness of the skirt. Uh, it's a great dress for dancing. Uh, the condition looks like it's in really good shape. I am not a big fan of Chantilly lace because uh, from a retail point of view, it tends to get damaged very easily. Of course. So what can you tell us about this dress? And did it come from the Obamas? Yeah, so, th so yes. You know, Doris, you know, they say, once you go vintage, you never go back. <laughs> and so it's amazing that Michelle Obama chose to wear this dress um, at the Christmas uh, at, in Washington in 2010, which was an annual tradition in Washington. Sadly, it's been discontinued. But she wore this, it was a magical night, and there's such amazing photographs of Michelle wearing this, and that's with little elves and uh, her mom is there, President Obama is there. It, just, it was just a really happy time, 2010. <sighs> yes. <laughs> but it's a vintage dress. So the dress um, is going on the auction block here at Julian's Auctions, uh, December uh, 6th. And this certainly is taken center stage. So it's a dress that was designed by Norman Norell. N N, and sort of I say N N because he sort of was known for no neckline on the dress, and so Norman Norell N N no neckline, but um, it's uh, obviously vintage. So this uh, dress, Michelle um, borrowed this from New York Vintage uh, store in New York City, and for the occasion it was very fitting, and as you said. First time for a first lady to actually wear a vintage dress. So we're, your world is so excited about that, but we're excited about it as well. We're very excited to bring it to the auction block. We have amazing photographs of Michelle wearing the dress. But also we have the engagement letter when the rental agreement with New York Vintage and all of the paperwork to support the fact that Michelle did rent it for this occasion, special occasion, we return to uh, the store, and now it comes to the auction block. So we're estimating it 50 to 70,000.
thousand dollars, and we think that's a conservative auction estimate because we believe that this is the first time that actually a dress worn by any first lady while in office, while performing duties as first lady, and, and still alive, and still with us, and still relevant, and so loved, and so with so many happy memories of the grace and dignity that she brought to um, the White House as a global ambassador as well. In fact, we wanted to take this dress to uh, the Museum of Style Icons in Ireland, where of course the Obamas are loved in Ireland, and it would have been great, but because of COVID, that did not happen. We also wanted to take it to the Museo de la Moda in Santiago, Chile. Again, another great friend of Julian's auctions, and a great place to showcase something worn by the First Lady, Michelle Obama. Again, loved worldwide, probably the most popular lady in the world today. And so, because of COVID, that didn't happen, so I'm really happy that you and I get to sit down, talk about it, and, and just to talk about Norman Norell just a little bit more, because he was such a great designer, New Yorker, um, he was the first to win the Cody Award for fashion, mm -hmm. I think 1943, um, but he also designed dresses for Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis, First Lady. Uh, Lady Bird Johnson, First Lady. He made Marilyn Monroe's dress when she uh, married Arthur Miller in 1956. I did not know that. Wow. And he also designed for Lauren McCall and Carl Channing, people that I knew and actually used to come to some of our events here at Julian's Auction. So there's so much history um, with this dress. And like you think about the little black dress, but there's so much history here and so many stories, and it's going to take on a whole new world. Doris, I'm talking to you on armchairs uh, from Robert Evans. Of course, he was a studio executive. Norman Norell used to work with Paramount Studios in New York City when they were in New York. Mm -hmm. And then they moved out here to Hollywood. And of course, he didn't move. He stayed in New York all his life, never relocated, had an amazing career. So I have to mention the chairs because I have to mention Paramount because, of course, Norman Norell was at Paramount, and Robert Evans was a main producer and one studio degree, head. One degree of separation. It's incredible. Um, it's all, this conversation is all coming from this amazing gown. What, you know, what I love about this gown is, for those of you that are fashion lovers, you're familiar with the name Norman Norell. He, Literally, when you look at fashion books, fashion history books, he is listed as one of the most important American designers. Uh, he came out with like, so many iconic styles. The um, sequined mermaid, but say that four times fast. <laughs> sequined mermaid dress, um, a pea coat that to this day has been reinterpreted so many times. Incredible. And um, this style is not a style that I'm familiar with. Um, that, that he's done, because I haven't seen different iterations. But um, suffice it to say, being this close and seeing the beauty and the choice of materials that he used, I think your estimate is low, because I think that um, Michelle Obama is beloved internationally. Truly, truly. And um, I would hope a place like the Smithsonian has a benefactor that would donate money to be able to bid on this, because it's important. So important, so important, so historic. An important piece of American history. It truly is, yeah, Norrell no was so amazing. He also was the first um, designer to come out with a line of perfume ah. in, in the 1960s, and I think at the time, an ounce of his perfume was $50. I mean, that was a huge amount of money back right. then. But his name, he was so uh, respected and had such a good name in the fashion world, designing, working with all of the greats, working at 7th Avenue in New York City where he had his store. I mean, just incredible. And to be here with this dress, which is going on the auction block, as I said, on December uh, 6th, um, is, is, is going to be one for the record books. And in fact, that same weekend, Doris, just behind me, because people are probably wondering, why is there a basketball <laughs> jersey yeah. in, in the scene with Martin and Doris and talking about Michelle Obama? 
In fact, this is going on the auction at the same weekend, on December 3rd. This is a basketball shirt worn by President Obama, Barry Obama, 1978-79 season in uh, Hawaii, in Punahou, his high school in Hawaii. And wow. he loved basketball. His father gave him a basketball, helped him to become the character he is. His competitive skills were displayed on the court. He was the first president to actually play competitively as a president for a team as playing basketball. So that's going on the auction block. That's a little bit more pricey. Doris, you'll probably be appalled to think that. We estimate the dress 50 to 70,000. The basketball jersey here is estimated 150 to 200,000. Wow. <laughs> but again, it's so rare to have something like this. It comes with the high school yearbook. Photographs of uh, Barry Obama wearing this shirt that Barry. year. Barry, oh my God. <laughs> and so it's, it's a great piece. And the fact to have that, you know, presidential couple, former president and former first lady represented, it just gives us a time to reflect on a really t nice, time in our lives during those years in the White House. I was lucky enough to actually attend a party at the White House with uh, President Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama. It was for uh, celebrating St. Patrick's Day in March of 2009. What a memorable evening. Wow. And they were such gracious hosts, I will never forget it. So for me personally to be sitting here and talk to you, Doris, about this beautiful vintage gown and to Think about President Obama and you know his formative years playing basketball in Hawaii, and now this is coming uh, to the auction block. It's just really, really uh, terrific, and it's going to be a historic uh, auction weekend for and us. Exciting to watch. Exactly. You know, I, I have to say that looking at that jersey, I'm kind of stunned at how uh, the good condition that it's in. Doris, like, again, I just really have to say it's an honor because you are a legend within the vintage world. Wow. What you have created here uh, over the years is truly incredible. And if people haven't been to the Way We Wore store uh, that Doris runs, it's just a very special place. We had some close mutual friends who were there last week. I think they spent about eight hours in your store. More. Even more. <laughs> okay. And they just had such a great time. Mm -hmm. And I can only imagine a, a people that have never heard of your uh, location, they, they should come and see it and just take a trip down memory lane, the way you have everything organized through the decades. And then there's the special red carpet area upstairs, I believe for invitation only perhaps, I'm not sure mm -hmm. if everyone gets access, but it, it's just amazing what you have created and for people to be aware of that so much history involved in you and what you have touched over the years is truly incredible. And so I'm excited because you've seen it all, Doris, in the sense that, and when, I, when we mentioned that we have this dress, we knew this, you know, aroused emotion in you because this is something for you that you were excited about. Mm -hmm. The uh, auction will be available online. Yes, juliansLive.com, mm -hmm. and people can see and hear the auctioneer live streaming video. They'll be entertained with the auctioneers. Wow! And they can just be a part of the history, even if they never intended to bid. They, this has aroused curiosity in people now, especially when it's the first lady, such a loved first lady, so popular and right. so gracious. And so people really were hoping, like you said, that someplace like the Smithsonian or a museum would own this so that it would be on display and that people would have an opportunity to see it. I remember going to see Nancy Reagan's uh, dresses when they were on display at the Reagan Library in Simi Valley, not very far from here. Mm -hmm. And that was so impressive. It was so incredible and she was a very uh, classy, beautifully dressed lady as well. And so like something like this, we would hope, we both hope, that um, it would end up in the museum because that's its museum quality piece. So those of you that are interested in, in the designer of this dress, it's Norman Norell, N-O-R-E-L-L. -L. We'll have links at the end of this episode. Uh, we also have some Norell pieces that we're going to insert. Uh, we have a couple of the mermaid dresses and a few other things um, in the store. So um, if you're curious, you can go on our website to check that out. Awesome. Am I the luckiest girl in Los Angeles? <laughs> I think I am. 
Um, so that's going to do it for us here at Julian's Auctions. Um, a reminder that if you like the episode, give us a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, and uh, we are fast approaching 50,000 subscribers. So I want to thank you all for your interest, and I want to thank you all for your comments. Uh, we try to get back to you all, but um, it's, it's actually overwhelming. We're going to need to hire someone <laughs> just to handle the comments. Great, great, great. It's exciting. So um, be safe, be well, until next time. Thank <laughs> you.